So a couple of weeks ago, we gave Jillian a chance to take a DNA test. All she had to do was give a little saliva sample in a tube, which we then sent off to a lab for analysis of the diseases that Jillian may be at risk for. Are you anxious to find out what your results are? I am, actually. I, I am a firm believer that knowledge is power, So, and I'm a big believer in preventative medicine. So I'm ready. I'm bracing myself. And so this is all I'm about myself. learning the things that you may <laughs> or may not be susceptible to. We have Shannon Kieran here, who's a Navigenics counselor, and you perform the test on Jillian's saliva. Yes. So just to recap, you know, we are each born with a unique genetic code that tells our body how to grow and function throughout our life. And this genetic code is actually made of DNA. DNA among individuals is 99% similar. You and I share 99% the same genetic code. I don't know. If we're 99% the same. We are. We're, He's like, we're like twins. We're twins. <laughs> we're twins. <laughs> Like, but it's just happened? those subtle little differences in your DNA that can put you at risk for certain illnesses, That's right. hair color, etc. That's right. So these genetic markers can help illuminate genetic predispositions you may have in terms of health conditions for your future. Got it. So we um, took a look at your saliva sample. Before you get your results, everyone's at risk for various things. Okay. I did this test a few years ago, and it was your risk for having a heart attack, for having diabetes. And so you take this with a grain of salt. Okay. This is, you know, this is just gives you an idea of some things that you may be susceptible to. This is not one of those things where it's a death here it sentence. is, here's your decimals. Not okay. at all. This is just something that you may want to pay attention to. So having said that, I don't want you to stress. Okay. What did Jillian's... DNA test show? So your genetic test did show two things that really stood out in particular. One was an elevated risk for breast cancer. Now we know that the average woman has about a one in eight lifetime risk for developing breast cancer. Okay. And based on the genes that we looked at, in your case, your risk is up to about one in four. So it's about two times that of the average woman. Okay. And you know what's cool? What is Earlier cool this about year, that? No, <laughs> you, you took steps to get a mammogram on this show. That's true. You're so right. again, you I'm learn this information so you can be proactive. No, you're right. And I'm actually glad to know it as much as I'm not glad to hear it. And, well, you're right. and, that's, and that's the key is <laughs> to, to take stock of what your test shows. And what else did Jane's test show? So your test also showed a concern for an increase in deep vein thrombosis, which is a type of blood clot that forms deep in the legs. Right, okay. I don't know a whole heck of a lot about that one. I personally think that the genetic testing, you, you have to take some of it with a grain of salt. Right, okay. You're at much higher risk for getting a DVT. But so, anyone who's ever had a DVT before, one of the things you want to pay attention to is when you're on a long plane ride, when you're in a long car ride, whenever right. you're sitting for a long period of time, get up, stretch your legs, pump the blood through your leg muscles so it doesn't just sit there over time. Because that's when clots form, is when blood just pools and hangs out really? for hours so and hours this isn't like a blood end. thickening, blood thinning thing? This isn't like an aspirin a day kind of a thing? Ba you know, again, I'm not going to be your doctor here, but having said that, I think you take these DNA test okay. results as, oh, you know, we found out some interesting things. And maybe a reminder that if each and every day we try to optimize our health, we still do have control. It's genetics, it's right. environmental, and this is just a little piece of the puzzle. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. us. And Thank you. I really appreciate it.